envision a bubbling, bubbling stream flowing underneath of this instead of, yeah, a picnic table. <laughs> so here is my paddle wheel generator. Um, this thing has been, this is the yard, by the way. Uh, all winter we've had two or three feet of snow back here. So I've been looking at it from afar and uh, wondering about it. So this is where I'm at. I used to service printers and uh, had these gears left over from an installation. And it's the pulleys, so I got a small pulley on the generator. A little bit bigger one on the bigger one. Don't ask. Don't tell. Uh, I could probably get you the numbers if I wanted to take it apart. <laughs> it's, it's not a really big tooth. It's a kind of a fine tooth, but it was free. And uh, I like free. Um, I went into a belt pulley shop and uh, the guy kind of gave me a hard time. He said, this is what I want. Just give me what I want. Uh, yeah. So I got an extension cord here on the three wires. It's going to come out on this one and then this is a 14 2 with ground extension cord uh, 120 extension cord but we got the three phases so 100 feet that'll get me hopefully that'll get me pretty close to my battery bank um, I basically uh, drilled out the pulley and uh, mounted with set screws and a uh, Loctite. Not really sure why I'm getting the vibration. It could be the cogging at a certain speed. So hopefully when it's in the stream it'll be going faster. I'm not going to know what it's producing until it happens. Uh, I could mock it all up but I um, really can't be bothered. Eventually it's going to get in the stream and then I'll shoot another video um, set up using a um, a uh, turnbuckle, that's why I call it turnbuckle although I'm sure there's a proper Japanese name for this product now uh, as a tensioner uh, when I tried it with a with the uh, a V-belt I had it the other way around so it was pushing now it's pulling and it works really well so the next video of this particular thing is going to be in the stream, which I'm not sure when that's going to be, because I'm going to need some help. Um, so I just want to show you this quickie thing here. Um, you know, remember my uh, my windmill, uh, the ornamental uh, windmill. I uh, today I put on this wider fin tail, this uh, piece of uh, six inch wide by two feet tall in addition to the original tail. So I can see how it responds to the wind. Uh, as I watched it run, it would whip around in different directions. So now I want to see how it stays steady or not. Um, and I can actually watch this from my uh, desk, and um, which is nice. So in different wind conditions, I can kind of see how it's running. Right now it's kind of like staying more steady, which we kind of like know this. Because everybody says, you know, put a bigger tail on your windmill, particularly the wind maxes, because they uh, they have such a dinky tail that it tends to whip around and not stay true to the wind. Um, so, like I say, it's not generating electricity; it's just uh, for fun. And uh, this is actually whipping along pretty good. I'm not sure how the video is taking it. Um, looks like an LCD that it's not actually uh, spinning very fast. I guess it's just an illusion, but uh, yep, that's the uh, the paddle wheel, soon to be in the stream when I have some extra hands that are willing to get wet, so I'm not the one getting wet. So have a great day in the neighborhood.